this is the handout for the midpoint formula that we're going to fold in this way and the distance formula that we're going to fold in this way. We're going to first start with the midpoint formula on a number line. What we have to do is just add the two points together. We usually try to go from left to right, so that would be A plus B, and divide by 2. So it's sort of an average of that, of that uh, distance. So we'll add them together and divide by 2. So how we do it, we'll go to the foldable right here. And the midpoint in the number line is just adding the points together. So 2 plus 9 divided by 2. 2 plus 9 is 11 divided by 2. And then we want to leave it as a decimal so we can put it on the number line. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. 5.5 right here would make this the midpoint. So how could we tell? Well, this is one, two, three, and a half, and one, two, three, and a half over, making it equal distance from either point being right in the middle. To save us a little bit of time, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom one. The formula is still the same. We're still going to add those two points. But this looks like this point is between these two, making it negative 2.5. Negative 2.5. Plus this positive 2.5. And we still need to divide by 2. And a negative 2.5 plus a 2.5 is going to be a 0. Still divided by 2. 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. Making 0 our midpoint. Make sure you write midpoint so I can tell that that, that number is what it refers to that point right there. So this is a little bit harder to check. So we're going to just go half and then 1, 2. And we go half and then 1, 2 making it equal distance from either point and allowing your number to be zero. The next part of the midpoint formula is when it looks like in a coordinate plane. This is an x and y value, so we're gonna call this x1 and y1, where this is your first point, and this is x2 and y2, where this is your second point. It looks a lot like the midpoint formula before where we just add them together and divide by two, but first we're gonna put it in parentheses and add the x's together. That would be a plus c divided by two. Then, make sure you put a comma, we're going to add the y's together, making b plus d divided by two. Then close the parentheses. It looks like this because it's going to be an order pair where this is the x value of the midpoint and this is the y value of the midpoint. When we open it up, we first need to get the order pairs of these points. This one would be 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x value and 1, 2, 3, four, five, six on the y value. For this one right here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the negative direction, making the order pair a negative eight. And one, two, three, four on the positive. Our distance formula then will be then we're gonna add the x's together and then the y's. Open parentheses, I'm gonna write it up here just so we have a little bit of space. Open parentheses, the x's. Since it's a y a first, I'm gonna use the x value of a, but the order really doesn't matter. So we have four plus the negative eight divided by two. We add them together and divide by two. Those are your x values. 
Then we have to get our y values. That would be 6 plus 4 divided by 2. Close the parentheses because your answer will be an order pair. I'm going to write it a little bit further down just so you, we can have enough space to write. 4 plus negative 8 is negative 4 divided by 2. 6 plus 4 is 10 and then divided by 2. Close the parentheses. Your final answer would be negative 2, 5 because negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Make sure you close the parentheses because your answer is an order pair. Let me go ahead and call this the midpoint 1. And I'm going to plot it, negative 2, 1, 2, and up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the midpoint 1. And as you can tell, it would be the same distance from the x values and the same distance from the y values. We're going to skip this one and go to this one right here. So we need the coordinate points of C. That would be 1, 2, 3, negative 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 8 on the y values. For AC, that's what it wants. We have to do the x values first. And I'm going to write it just a little bit above so we have enough space. Open parentheses. 4 plus the negative 3 divided by 2. Then we have to do the y values. 6 plus negative 8 divided by 2. Gonna have open parentheses, four plus a negative three is a one divided by two. Six plus a negative eight is a negative two divided by two. Making your final answer one half comma negative one. So how do you plot one half? It would just be right here and then negative one. And that would be the midpoint 2. I'll call this midpoint 2. You can tell that it's in between these two points in the middle with the y values and in the middle of the x values. The distance formula. The distance formula and the linear line and the number line it will be b minus a. So if we open it up and see what that means, for example, the first one, it would be B, or the greatest number, minus A, or the smallest number, not equal 7. The way that you can verify is the distance between them. That's what we're doing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to skip this one and go ahead and do this one just so we can get it correct um, with the formula. On here, we have one and a half, one and a half minus, because that's part of the equation, negative one. And that equals two and a half as your distance. All the distances should always be positive. So let's take a look. One, two, and a half. For the distance formula on a quadrant plane, that is probably the most complicated one. We need a square root sign, it's pretty long, for the information that we're gonna have. We have open parentheses, and we're gonna do A minus C and square it. What are we doing? We're doing the X's subtracting that and squaring it plus open parentheses b minus d 
closing the parentheses and square it. We're taking the y values. Whichever point you choose to go first has to go first for the x and the y. So if you chose this to be the first number, then you have to choose this to be the first number for the y's. Okay, if we open it up, let's go ahead and start with the first one. I'm gonna start up here just to have a little bit more space. Let's open parentheses and we're looking at a, so that would be four minus is part of the equation, negative eight is the value, close the parentheses, square it, plus, open parentheses, six, since we started with this point, then we have to make sure that we start with this value, six minus four squared. And I'm gonna move this square root sign a little longer just so we can see it better. Then we have the square root. Four minus negative eight is 12. Keep it in parentheses, 12 squared. Plus, open parentheses, six minus four is two squared. That equals the square root. 12 squared is 144 plus four, two squared is four, making your final answer the square root of 148. I don't need the decimal approximation for the test, but if you give it to me, that will be all right. Let's skip this one. Let's go ahead and do this one. It says CA, so it wants the point C first. I'm gonna start at the top over here just to have a little bit more space. We're going to do the C first. That would be negative three minus four. Close the parentheses squared plus open parentheses. Now the Y values, we have to start with the C first. That would make negative eight go first, negative eight minus six squared. Then we have the square root again. Negative three minus four is a negative seven. Plus, and then a negative eight minus six is a negative 14. This is why these parentheses are important because negative seven squared is like negative seven times negative seven, which gives you a positive 49 plus negative 14 times negative 14 is a positive 196. Now you have to add those two together is the square root of 246, 245, sorry. And that would be your final answer.